Good morning, Nigeria, with Regional for Independent Television. We will take our first guest, our uh, brother, Kruso Sage, who will be special advisor to Governor Ombaseki on uh, media and uh, communication strategy, a day on life right now, and we would like to join us through that. We will also look at the eight years of Ombaseki, which he do people gain. Kruso, good morning. Hello, Kruso, good morning. In the house. Hello, Chris. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we try to join uh, our brother Chris Sagi this morning. Okay, uh, this morning once uh, the network done. Okay, yeah, uh, Chris. Good morning. Hello, Chris. In the house. I can't hear what you're saying to me. Hello. I can only hear your voice. I can't hear okay, you. so it's not the hear me small. Okay. Can you hear me now? Okay, the network, uh, guys, I see the thing that comes small. small we still uh, try to get uh, uh, all the, I see the, the special advice, I know the hear okay, knows, But over time, maybe once the communication uh, I can hear you through. Now. I can hear Hello, you good morning, Kuso. Um, uh, Akwalolo, how are you? I can hear you. Yeah, okay, good morning. So, uh, uh, of course, you don't in the say you don't to go to Nigeria this morning, and uh, the whole world they watch you uh, as a spokesman for uh, this government as a today. Uh, people would like to know from you some of the key areas when we say this government for the past eight years they touched the lives of Edo uh, people. Uh, that, 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 that one many way well now. You know, uh, let us begin from the very outset. Uh, immediately, Governor Basaki took over office in 2016. The first thing he did was he recognized that the state had been captured by, uh, you know, non-state actors. A lot of non-state actors, you know, uh, different uh, gang leaders, uh, uh, agberos, all kinds of people. Then they, then they, you know, then they collect government revenue for motor park, for for junctions, for different places, kinds of roadblocks. It was more or less like they took over, you know, the was more or less like they took over the uh, the the state, you know. So the governor made the one of the first major pronouncements, taking away uh, revenue collection from um, non-state actors, from Agbero, from Tops, you know. And that was the very first step. And then the next step when governor take it, now to begin the reform of the, you know, land system, land administration system for the state. That brought peace and sanity to the state because these thugs and gang leaders and different kinds of people that they take the, the state, the state uh, by uh, the job. Crusoe, 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 please. Uh, this program now pigeon, oh. Na pigeon. So uh, and I, 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 I try, I, I try to speak the pigeon. I go try, I go, I go speak the pigeon. <laughs> you know, so all these, people, yes. all those, now all these uh, people hold the state for neck. You know, not okay. let the state breathe. So once governor yeah. make those pronouncements, remove revenue collection from these uh, criminals and these gang leaders, and um, uh, stop the land and uh, the illegal land, land administration. What then they do for communities? When, when they take the fuel, they are. You know, their system, their gang system, the state can't calm down. As the state calm down, and the governor start in work for different sectors of the for different aspects of the of the economy. You know, one of the major as I where governor first start now education. Because governor see say the one of the big challenges what would they get for the state? We say that they can't carry our children, just go go uh, they say they will say they won't carry them go abroad, but they'll carry them, go live there, go throw them for inside there's that. At the time, we had over 30,000 young men and women, you know, held in uh, in uh, captivity in uh, Libya. And so the governor saw that there was a direct link between the kind of education our children were getting and this kind of terrible thing that was happening to our, our children who were, who were just being trafficked because they didn't know better. The governor can say the best way to do this one, apart from tackling the immediate uh, problem of the people went down already they, when they're going to go hang for Libya, when they die for road, when it can start this uh, um, uh, anti illegal migration campaign, come begin bring back our children from Libya. But he now also went ahead to 
re, re, rejig the education system using a do best. Because if you teach Peking well, if Peking sabi book, sabi read, sabi reason well, you don't go easy to just carry that Peking uh, receive and carry come out. So our education system was changed. So we now started digital teaching. We now started training our teachers. Now started rebuilding the schools. Now transformed Edo State Education from where we did down down before number six or number eight. We can do now for education number one or number two for the country. And also, if you go check the list of states where illegal migration they happen to their citizens, Edo went to be number one before. We not even did the top ten list again. So. That's the first step, education transformation. From there, Governor Kong expand the, the uh, reforms to other sectors. Governor Kong says um, the civil service, that be the engine of growth or engine of you know transformation of the of the state. Now he can say if civil service not they work well, then there's no way when the state could take function well. So now the governor can start with what they call massive, you know, uh, civil service reforms. The first thing we have to do now to begin to train these people. And how do how you go train these people if somewhere not they when they train them where well, when well, then governor start waiting with the waiting with the call John Odigye Oyegu Public Service Academy when they for uh, uh, this uh, GRE uh, reservation road. Today, you know that center. If you know as it did before, it get it wrong. I mean, that is a big it pieces. Governor, bring them down, rebuild them, make them work class, and then they call the train civil servants for there because not say our civil servants not sabi something, but the thing we say for government or for any endeavor for that matter, if you not train your people. All the time, you go eventually. No, they're not going to know what to do. They're not going to be waiting to do. But I don't know if you can hear me because I don't know whether your network still connects. I hear you. I hear you. You did all. Oh, okay. Good. I hear you. Good. Then you. now we call reform civil service. But but like I said, these civil servants not like they didn't know what they were doing, but they were not up to date with training. So governor can start massive training of, of the civil service, but not only train them. What are the place where they work? The place where they work by the time the governor come, be like where they keep cattle, be like where they keep goat and sheep and fowl. Governor come scatter all those places. Then be that secretarial complex when they see today will be like Dubai when they look out from from up. We call governor come rebuild the whole secretarial complex. He put food court, he put crutch, he put everything, put air conditioning, all the offices for government, be like office for any any private sector organization. Now only that one, governor come talk say technology and the way that they work now. Not be analog and paper. But not come do digital transformation. The company can maybe say all civil servants for those state they work with computers, they work with tablets. You know, as special advisor for, for to governor, I get my ego uh, uh, login uh, details. One day log into the portal. All the all the mails and memos when governor they send, they call my portal. I go respond to them by mail. If I need to copy any other government. Uh, functional, maybe permanent secretary or director, I'll copy them. So we now transform Edo State to a paperless government. Edo State in Nigeria today is the number one, is the first paperless government in the whole country. Not even the federal government runs paperless, but Edo State runs paperless as we speak. That's so why we transform uh, the bureaucracy of government into the civil service. After you don't transform bureaucracy of government, you will say, government will now be. Government will call the fit, they deliver the, the value when they want to deliver for the different sectors. Because there's no way you can deliver this value without the engine functioning well. As government don't rejig this engine, I government come begin the, the target, the different uh, sectors. You want to talk of the economy, and does the economy grow to to uh, over $25 billion, you know, in the past couple of years? Over $25 billion. How it take grow? Different big, big companies come begin to come and do because the engine of government was functioning well. Uh, Osiomo Power come and do. You have uh, two, mod two modular refineries for Edo, Edo Modular Refinery and DuPont Refinery. You have two, um, uh, they call it ethanol plants, et ethanol processing plants set up by two big companies, Dufil and one other company. Then they come, come inside Edo. You get uh, Rapid Spring Blue, the one of the biggest hotel chain in the world, come inside the door, just name it big, big organization, big, big companies from the income. The GDP of Edo State can go up from a monthly 
revenue collection of about 1.6 billion a month in 2016 when governor Bantek commit today would they collect as high as 8 billion every month for revenue how it be like that with all these big big companies coming into it doing you go you know say shop right don't come now some people be pro some people have been promised on shop right before on a signboard shop right then the V give us, but we don't put the real shop right for grand now in the operate. So with all these big big organizations running the state, revenue will begin to come government because all these organizations then they pay taxes to government. There is value added tax, there are sales taxes, there are the profit tax, and all, all kinds of taxes and revenues and, and levies when these organizations they pay to government. Now you make government revenue come, come go up where where. From 1.6 billion in 2016 to over 8 billion a month in, in today, 2024, when I got a basic day. Then from there, go to the health sector. A can look and say, for the health sector to function well, the human capital, the people when they work for the health sector, that's where for they train them must today. Now, Governor can go start. It can see, say, this school of nursing, when they call school of nursing for a do before, it don't routine, it don't spoil. He shut them down, he break them down, he build them again. Today, Edo State has the most sophisticated College of Nursing Sciences in the whole of Sub Saharan Africa. You can go and check. They don't graduate some of their students recently. They do convocation recently. The first set of graduates when come out from that school of Basaki rebuild. Today, we have the best school of nursing in Sub Saharan Africa, not just in Nigeria, in Sub Saharan Africa. From there, come on, come so look and say, not only nurses and midwives we need for health sector, we also need some other, you know, uh, tier two health workers like uh, dental. Uh, Dental technologies, all those people they work for, um, when they drop blood from person, but when you go hospital, one go to test. Now, College of Nurse, College of um, Health Technology, and then for the do training, what not bring them down, what not rebuild them again, give them accreditation. They just they just commissioned them the other day now, about uh, three or four days ago. We have a new College of Health Technology in those State. They just matriculated their first set of students. But the agri sector, when it grew, where we to, got no open college of agriculture at those the college of agriculture for Ikoriaki. i'm sure you also saw that recently it was opened recently now now chairman of itv uh, former governor of Edo state um, governor lucky grenadian nine commission that project a week ago or so so all these uh, institutions were now built to build the capacity of Edo people to be able to function within the revamped economy of uh, of uh, Edo State. Then come up and look and say, another thing when Gofi sustain the growth when they bring come the state now security, because security was a big problem across the country. Governor Kong set up the most advanced surveillance system for Nigeria today. The uh, people who do Wayo election for Edo State, they had to destroy that security system to be able to do the kind of Wayo they did in, uh, in the election. What was this surveillance system? First and foremost, governor put cameras for all across the city. You know, strategic points, ring road, Uba Hill, everywhere, camera there everywhere. Then we get one place where they call command and control center where we get big screens. When we say our officials when sit down for there, 24 7 then they on telephone they monitor the screens they talk with with security operatives for different parts of the state they monitor what they happen across the state so that if anything happens for any part of the state they go quick quick see her for screen there they go radio the nearest uh, security agency when they near there may then go respond to the team. people don't know how we did it Manager and that type of NIMBD, the explanation NIMBD. So with that, we also needed boots on the ground, which we both would call boots on the ground. Then now we set up the Edo State Security Network, NIMBD ESSN. When uh, uh, that man don't come with the prescriber before election, when cause the crisis, when come there, do when security come. I say go down for the past two weeks because they destroyed for the past two months or so because they destroyed the security system in the state in order to be able to rig the election the way they did you know in uh, uh, September 21st uh, uh, this year. But, but that said, the investment has been made. The the uh, security system they there the. Now, just two days ago, three days ago, Governor Kong talk again, say, make all vigilantes, uh, do state security network, make the Star Wars, then they forget the nonsense when uh, that guy there, Betokun, 
the IG of uh, police can't talk, you know, when it takes spoil our system before. They make vigilantes come back. So what the vigilantes they do is say, then they the various communities. So now then they felt how many police we get for the whole Edo state. I'm not sure they reach a uh, hundred thousand policemen. I doubt if even reach fifty thousand policemen when they do state. But we have many uh, vigilantes for different communities so that when there is any crisis these vigilantes now they first identify what the what the crisis is and communicate with the you, the with the police you hear me? through the yeah they hear you, you. Get one thing you just talk now where you see yeah. <laughs> the nonsense where that man can't talk uh you know yeah. say na, na, so, yeah. tv uh, is for the general okay. police and of course you know see election the past so i, I beg no, we'll try to mend our no, language. So that one, we're not going to take up of you. Continue your discussion. I apologize for IT TV, but I don't apologize for that man because the man do with me I talk to you too. But I apologize for IT TV because I don't want to spread on our, on our work. You know, but all those things happen and all the people stay up when it happened that time, you know. But, you know, that, that investment was made, massive investment into security. Transform the so that now improve the confidence of people to bring investments into the state. So more and more investments. Now the big ticket transactions. Now I even talk to you about just now. There were many other small small businesses when coming to Edo in the last uh, uh, eight years. We can transform uh, uh, the economy. Then you want to talk about sports development because government all. Government all Government is very interested in youth development. And to develop the youth, government rea realize there are two major sectors that the youth they like to play where we're number one, now sports, number two, now entertainment and creative industry. Government can go sports, it can transform the sports sector, it can first reduce stadium, we build them again, put goal line technology, put VR, put uh, the pattern track, the best kinds of tracks that they run across the world, make that stadium the best. Stadium in the whole of Nigeria. Not only the stadium for Akwa Ibok, that we compete with the stadium for for with Samuel Obamudia Stadium in terms of quality. Put Olympic sites to me, put, put gym, gymnasium, put uh, everything when you want to talk of uh, uh, tennis courts, all the courts when you need to play tournament, they inside the reduced stadium. They can't do small, small stadium across the states because not be everybody will come from where then the state come. Uh, still to come practice to come build a cost mini stadia across different local government across different wards for the state so that people feel the practice. Then, what will be the result of this investment? Look at Ben Insurance by the time Governor Basaki just come power in 2016. Ben Insurance was in re then they relegation, no, they call relegation for sports now for football. Then they relegation, but today, Ben Insurance they Premier League again. They, they win international competitions. Then they win continental competitions now. Then what about Edo Queens? The same thing. Edo Queens will not exist at all again. But with the support of Her Excellency, Mrs. Betty Obaseki, you get one tournament when she set up a call, you know, Betty Obaseki football tournament, women football tournament. You can't use that one, plus all the infrastructure when governor don't build. They transform the female football team. The, as of today, our female football team, they contribute up to three or four members to the national football team of Nigeria, the Edo Queens. Edo Queens win continental uh, uh, trophy as well. You know, So what happened? The sports sector transformed. What about the creative industry? The same thing, governor go, he set up what they call Sir Victor Waifo Creative Hub. Inside that creative hub, you have everything that you need to produce film. You have a, you have a sound stage or if you design to take do a, a set for film. Then you have studios where you film mix and master all the voice and sound for film. Now, just uh, last week, Governor Commission, what they call post production studio, where you finish the film when you don't do. Then you have uh, stages for mu music, you have the um, 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 what they call studio when they record music and so on and so forth. What what, what is the result of that? If you also see in during this period where Governor Banseki don't be governor, we have at least three or four major hit musicians in Nigeria in Edo State from Edo State. Number one, we, we, when people believe they be the biggest for from out of Edo State, maybe one of the biggest in Nigeria, and perhaps one of the biggest artists in the world is Rema. You know, Nabini Nabi Boy. It come from Edo State. 
And he, this Rema, for you to know, say, Obaseki played a role in the lives of these people. This Rema was an unknown artist. He was when they call upcoming artists when they do when Obaseki came to power in 2016. He was one of the backstage artists where he performed for Governor Obaseki inauguration ball. Today, he's one of the biggest artists in the world because Obaseki created a platform for all these children to grow. What about this next one? They call Charlie Poppy. It happened within Obaseki administration because we had the infrastructure, we had the place already laid out for the youth to channel their talent. And then Charlie, Charlie Poppy. What about Johnny Drill? That's another mini boy. All these and musicians, when they come full out of Edo, they are now big international stars because of the environment when Obaseki created. And many small, small Rema, small, small Johnny Drill, small, small Charlie Poppy, they're full Edo State. And these are, they have become multi-millionaires, they have become influencers of youth across the world coming out of Edo State. Then what about the media industry? If you know Nigerian Observer before, it was run down, derelict, completely worn out. Obaseki entered there, what did he do? He rebuilt the, the Nigerian Observer Complex. Now, me supervised that project personally. He bring three big presses. You have a, a new ghost press, which prints, print, prints new print, news prints and other textbooks. You have the, when they say print flex, flex banners, all these banners they use on the church, they do program and all of those things. You can then the flex, 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 flex printers, they call them, why digital printers? Then you also have what thing they call a, a, a speedmaster, Heidelberg speedmaster, where they print all these things, where they take carry, uh, take away bag, or when you go uh, party, all those, and then laminate printing and those kinds of things. He installed all those uh, print, printing presses for Observer, world class, state of the art equipment, and then also built the Nigerian Observer afresh. Now, what did they happen? We say Nigerian Observer now they worry where they want to print their, their paper because the printing press when they inside they will print the paper for Nigerian Observer. Meanwhile, that printing press is also you know printing for commercial people. Anybody who want to print anything, you want to print wedding card, you want to print your political banner when you want to do politics, or you want to print your 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 wedding uh, gift bag and so on and so forth. Then the printer commercially. We have the best printing center in the whole of South, South Nigeria. The only place where if you see the kind of printing presses one will get for Nigeria and Abuja and Lagos. But the whole South, South of Nigeria, the, the kind of printing press you want install, nobody get them for, for Nigeria. Today, Nigeria Observer is back. What about the broadcasting service? If you go to the broadcasting service and you see Obaseki built five new studios, digital studios, they, he brought in, now for a broadcasting service, you have, you have Two sets of of transmitters for radio for radio uh, uh, station. You have the transmitter for radio station. You have another fresh transmitter for radio station. So that if uh, uh, something they happen now and uh, maybe uh, one of the transmitters they down, the radio station not go down because they go switch to the new transmitters. So they were just about to start the television transformation now, but the radio was completed totally. That television being I would want to start before the end of our of our, of our tenure. We, we 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 hope that the people who are taking over after us can do can do that. Then you want to talk about you want to talk about um, about uh, skills development. If you go uh, where, where would they call I C before when it got run down a basic you go there transform hello hello and look, I said, because right. of time, talk about yeah. hospital and road, because then they send me and say, you know, yeah. ask about hospital and road. So talk about yeah. hospital and road. No. Hospital and road. Um, yes. Just yesterday, I mean, two days ago, the um, um, Stella Bassanjo Hospital was commissioned. Stella Bassanjo Hospital today is the most sophisticated hospital with the most sophisticated equipment in the whole of Nigeria. And possibly, possibly it's South South, possibly South Saharan Africa. The equipment when we get there, you know, no no hospital for Nigeria get out. We just Obasanjo and uh, Jonathan White, which is Jonathan, and then Jukon commissioned them a, a couple of days ago. Apart from that hospital, that the hospital will be the biggest thing Obasanjo can do. The biggest thing Obasanjo can do now to to establish what would they call the health insurance scheme because you feel get a big hospital for there but people know if you go because they're not getting money to take pay or basically set up a health insurance scheme when they say if they pay only two two hundred naira every day 
to, to that health insurance scheme. It's gonna entitle you to any kind of treatment, you know, when you want, when you want, when you want, when you want to get. So we have health insurance scheme, we get different packages. You get some package when we say 20,000 naira for a whole year premium now you need to pay. You will get card when you take use the hospitals when you're there, those things anytime when you want. You get some premium when be 70,000 naira a year. So for people waiting for abroad, now what do they do? Instead of to say abroad, I know where, sister, know where, send money from abroad. No, just buy the health insurance scheme for their brother or their sister or their father or their mother. Give them card. Anytime they know where they go, all the hospital, all the hospitals where they say they go, they go treat them for free. Then the second part of what governor do to take, make healthcare accessible to uh, those people, that to build many what they call primary healthcare centers. They call them primary healthcare clinics across the state. So that don't be any time somebody know where the rush come, sell our passenger hospital or specialist hospital. You go, go in small healthcare clinic or in community, not stay there. Re re better qualified registered nurse. Some doctor pay for something, they go check you. Even if something when they feel resolved at that level, they go resolve them. Even if something when they need to escalate, they get computers where they fit the escalator to, to the you know uh, secondary uh, healthcare centers and tertiary Healthcare center. That's not for for healthcare for those states. So, well, governor dealt with with uh, ensuring that there, we have primary healthcare clinics, and then ensure that there was access by creating what they call a those state health insurance scheme, and then build very reliable tertiary care for for, for secondary and tertiary care for cellular our bus and your hospital. And the transformation will happen for for the healthcare center. For road, that one, you know, if you can't road. About you know, they take road as serious, as important. Uh, it's important, but it's not that's not. It's, it, it, they do road like water. You know, they do one road. They do roads together. You go to so If you go to so today, all the roads were to About to get all of them. If you go up any for uh, I'm at side. But say you tell only one road. All the roads were inside there. Go tell them. If you go in uh, 19th Street for for Ubawa, all the roads around that uh, in a BDPA, they call that place, be that estate where they oppose, almost opposite. All the roads go tell them. They want to talk the big, big roads. They can one road. They want to talk uh, Lucky Way. They want to talk, just name it. Roads, many. Uh, I want a road for, I don't know. There are many. Yes, uh, roads, many. During the uh, tenure of Obaseki, the total number of kilometers of road went down. It's almost 2,000 kilometers of roads went down in this in this administration. Take it from me. No administration before Baseki has done as much road, roads as Baseki has done in, in, within eight years. But because of Baseki do many things, it worked for many areas. The roads are just uh, the bottom, the bottom part, the road for the work where of Baseki do for the past. I think I also remind you, I remind you about some, eh? You know, say, for dancing, for Nubi, uh, yes, yeah, dancing now, yes. uh, for that, mm. uh, yes. Uh, Minister of Education for Yaro, you say, yes. I bet he can't do that place to ensure say everything by education. Uh, they will, they will just draw for there. Then the for I uh, think um, big, uh, big Bar Road for former yes, ADP, yes, yes, that's yes, the yes, agriculture yes, hub, so that everything right, about yes. agriculture, it go also yes. did that place. Then uh, for yes. which other place now? Uh, just some of that nature. I just make also remind you. Most yes, of those were way I also see. Then, but what if people would ask now? See, maybe we will ask. We say, say, yes. uh, say, hey, governor, do many of these things. I even to, uh, to the extent I even ask, would they talk? So you work too much. People see they work, and uh, the way they call it, commission things back to back, back to back. So many people don't even know, say they work even plenty. Rich like that before. Uh, you know, you know Patrick, he always they talk and pride from the beginning. He said, look, money when they're supposed to work for people. Not be one that they do propaganda. Some people now, some government, they go spend half of this money when government they do all these things. They, they speak grammar. They, they carry uh, propaganda press. They, they, you know, but government believes in working first and showing the evidence of your work later. Government also actually believes in that the people, when they enjoy the work, they ain't supposed to talk about them. Actually, if you can't look at me, go all these countries, uh, America, Canada, uh, England. You know, go here and say that they do live broadcast because they're tired road now. I mean, it's a, it's now because of lack of civilization. I make with the world as well. For a brother, they tire road like if road spoil, you tire them. If road spoil, you tire them. No, they're talking for news. The only reason when they go talk about 
road when they want to do for abroad now. If there is going to be an obstruction on the road, M25 for, for London, now if they want to do work, work for there, they will announce, yeah, I beg you, we want to divert traffic from M25 because we want repair. Not be said that they announce some, say, oh, project, project. No, no. The work, you're supposed to work for your people. That's all the thing. But because for Africa, we like to do something in a certain way. That's why we are now showing everybody what Obaseki has done in the last eight years, lest they say he didn't do anything. So it to say Obaseki one use one year to showcase in project every day of one year, 365 days, in you know, still rich because they work too many. I want to showcase uh, uh, pensioners. When we say that they died away before, nobody they pay their 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 monuments. When we say now. All pension areas have been cleared in you know, this, uh, this state. We had started clearing the gratuity areas. We never finished them, but we don't start them. Oh, well, I want to talk about civil servants when they earn their salaries as I went to. Obaseki was the first governor, so without any provocation or any confrontation, increased minimum wage from to, to, to 70,000. And now everybody called the jump on board, they struggle to. To do the same thing. But I want to talk about the digital transformation. When we say any of those state staff now, no need to, you must not be inside the office before it can work. It can work from anywhere because he has, he has a tab and it can be connected to the. I want to talk about What about these CFOs? Before, if you buy land for, for a do, you know, get paper. You don't know whether you get them. Tomorrow, somebody else go for that time for your hand. So they will go anywhere you are. Once you bought the land, you get. You pays uh, papers. You take it to uh, to 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 uh, do information, uh, do geographical information service. They process your CFO. Maximum 30, 40 days. You get your CFO. You know. So the transformation. What about fiscal planning? Before nobody they they, they go register their plan when they want to build house. Today we go. We have a fiscal master plan now. One of the biggest legacies of basically the leave behind. He leave. Two plans, one on a city master plan, the one the one on a Edo State Master Plan. So the plan when we say they want to develop Edo State for the past for the next 30 years, it's already been made. Now only worry we say the people when want to enter government now, though we they pray, make God do and make and then give out to us who we really win the election. We don't know whether they will give me the plan, but the plan they there shall me I get one copy. What I keep as souvenir. I hope they can read the plan and continue to. To transform the state. And those states now get the highest fiber network per capita in Nigeria. All 18 local governments in those states, they are linked by fiber. That is, there is no part of those states where you cannot get internet. They're not the CEO in a village, this, oh, this, na, na, kuku, edo, no network. Mm -mm. Fiber go around the whole of those states. So you can have internet anywhere, no matter how remote the village on the day. The, in the only state where if you compete with a do state that of fiber network now Lagos State. And Lagos State. And that's why I said per capita. If you look at the population of Lagos State, it's almost five times the population of Edo State. So if you calculate the fiber network well, per thank capita, you, Matan, Nigeria, we share do, some of this is because the one. tip too many. Like you thought, three sixty five days don't go rich at all at all. You know, so by God's grace, uh, from time to time, before the handing over, we'll continue this process on different, different platforms for you to come and tell about, talk, tell us about all the things, even the one where you not going to remember again later for another of our program, we'll feed the put image they let us. We salute you the time we take you know, this morning. You are, thank, thank you, Apollo. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.